Kodiak friends, a great video on how to tie our famous Tell Us Wiggle Bug that we love to catch silvers on by Randy Browning. We love it. Go get him. Tying up a bunch of wiggle bugs. I'm getting the bug. Excited to go to Alaska and I feel like I'm kind of in crunch mode. Look at my table. You think uh, my wife hates me, but I'm in like fly tying mode. Anyway. Tying wiggle bugs, and I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys real quick. Um, this is a hook, this is a wiggle bug from last year. Hammered, kind of lost all its color, but I love the hook. It's got a big gape on it. This hook is a TMC 8089 Timco. Okay, and believe it or not, it's a size six, not a size four, but it's sold as a size four. They just use different style hooks. I like this one. This is a store bought, and it's the, this is the hook they used. Anyway, forget about it. All right, here we go. So I've got this loaded in the vise. Come on in here, Riley, a little closer. I already laid a, a, a bed of thread down. I run that thread all the way, even a little bit below the uh, the bend of the shank. Um, have me one of those, Riles. So I've taken all my the pink ones. I've taken my sheets of foam, and I've glued them all together with the spray adhesive and I've cut them all into 3 8 inch wide strips 3 8 of an inch wide and then I've cut all those down to roughly 2 inches a little bit less than 2 inches is what you need um, and what I do is I take a razor blade and then I'll just cut that angle that goes on the nose of those I'll just cut it with the razor blade and uh, just clean it up a little bit. It's not that critical. Just get the angle on it. Looks pretty good. Um, they say it's not that critical, but I'm still kind of a perfectionist. I don't like those little boogers hanging off it. Anyway, that's ready to go. I've got my thread base. And what I've got here is just some chenille. This one just, uh, it's a lighter pink chenille. I feel like it gives a pretty good contrast. Here's some that I have done, but I'm going to show it to you. So you want to tie this chenille in up at the nose. Tie it in right up tight to the nose. Get yourself about an eighth inch base of thread on that chenille. And then drag that line out and just kind of hang it off the back. Now, I use super glue all along the way. Just a little dab of super glue on those threads. Then I'm going to take that chenille and I'm going to wrap the whole length of the hook. Okay. And this is just your body, you know? Little legs or whatever you want to call them. Go right to the end. And then take my line and pick it up and give it a couple good wraps there at the rear. Lock it off. Trim it. Toss it in the garbage. Again, just a dab of super glue will do you. Okay, here's the tricky part. Back up, Riley. So what you want to do is you want to basically take the distance of your gape of your hook, and that's how far back you'll put your hole. I've just been kind of gauging it off these other ones that I've already done. But you want to start that hole on the top side, not on the cut side, on the top side. You want to come back. You want to go in at about a 45, maybe a little less, but stay right in the middle. Then when you come out in the back, make sure you're in the middle. Okay? See that angle? Get that hole started. Bam. Now again, I'm going to take just a tiny dab of super glue there so that when I get this through, it has something to hold on to. Find that hole and work that guy through. It's not, it's not easy, but you can get her through. There you go. See that? Beautiful. We'll go just a little bit further. All right, that looks really good. Now I'm going to take this, pull a little bit of tension, bring it over the back, 
give it a couple wraps and cinch that baby down. Now the whole idea is this fly will swim better as, as long as everything is straight in line. You don't want that eyelet too far off one side or the other. Okay, I like where that one sits. I'm going to give it six or seven good wraps and lock her all down. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to trim a little bit of that. You can actually see that's kind of, you know, this side separated. Not a big deal. Okay, not going to super glue that yet. Well, you know what? What the heck? It ain't going to hurt anything. Let's put a tiny, tiny dab in there. Now that we're to that point, looks really good. Hold on. Good. Got a tiny little separation. On my nose. I don't like that. So I'm going to give it a little bit of super glue. I don't know exactly what happened there, but we'll fix it. Not a big deal. Super glue is your friend. Now, I'm going to tie in the tail. So we'll take some uh, marabou, right, pink marabou. Roughly the length of the body, maybe a little bit shorter. Put that in the garbage. And then this is going to go. Cut that little slit. Oh, yeah, I got to cut that little slit. Thanks for reminding me, Riley. Kind of just allows that to lay down in there. Get your line. Secure that marabou. Okay, check it out. Make sure it's straight out the back. That looks good. Give it a couple good wraps. Don't be afraid to have a nice big thread bed here. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm going to come. This is a flash of boo. I've absolutely used the heck out of this thing, and I ain't got much good stuff left. And this one's cool because it's got pink and purple highlights in it. And I'll just take, you know, five, six, maybe seven strands, cut it low, and I'll fold it over a couple times. Cut that a little bit. Fold it in half again. And then, we got that, same thing. I'm going to tie it in the same way I tied in that marabou. Okay. Cinch it down. Make sure it's kind of feathered out nice. Now this is where you just give it a couple good wraps make sure everything's really secure I found the coolest whip finish the other day mm. has a big wide open gap bigger than the you know look at the size difference in those makes it really nice when you're doing these bigger flies just come in and give it you know three or four of those no big deal bam pull her tight then I'm going to super glue all the way around. Really send that baby home. And then I'm also going to come down here at the base of this and I'm going to give it a dab of super glue. I don't think that came out. Boom, there it is. And that super glue held that together. Why not? Just for fun. Okay, that's it guys, there it is, that right there is the Silver Slayer, okay, if you look at it, straight on, this one's not perfectly centered, but as you fish these, you just kind of tweak them, keep everything straight, looks really good, here is, Riley can zoom out, there's a group of five of them right there. They're all pretty uniform. They don't take that long to tie, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.